Greetings everybody, this is Shadowstar here on Marksman72 for my PlayStation ID and welcome to the next video for my Let's Play series for Marvel Spider-Man The Remastered Vision and just in case anybody wants to check out any other of my Let's Play videos for Marvel Spider-Man I will leave the playlist links for you in the video description down below and just a quick recap for anybody who did miss the previous video s managed to catch up to Black Cat to stop it from handing over the Magia Data Drives to Hammerhead MJ infiltrated a Magia Haida, who are currently in the middle of uh, counterfeit counterfeiting some cash. And Spider-Man helped Black Cat uh, dig up some dirt on where Hammerhead might possibly be holding uh, Felicia's son. So now, um, MJ has decrypted the information and sent the information to Spider-Man, who is now on, on his way over to Hell's Kitchen to meet up with Black Cat to rescue Felicia's son and again I do apologize if you do hear me hesitating or stuttering with any of my sentences during this video being an autistic individual talking is not one of my strongest points but I do try anyway also if you do hear me staying silent during certain gameplay sections and or cutscenes for the gameplay sections is because I'm trying to focus beat up the bad guys and try not to die and for the cutscenes it's because I want to give everybody a chance to hear what is going on during said cutscene also, I should mention that this video will serve as the finale for the first part of the story for the city that never sleeps. So the heist portion after this will be done. So in part five of the DLC will be the start of the Turf Wars story arc. And here we are at the shipping yard where Hammerhead recently bought the room size vault. This place is isolated. They could keep the kid here for weeks without anyone noticing. This is the place. I know it. If they spot us, it's over. We need to take them all out. Like we used to. Quiet as a cat. Sneaky as a spider. If they ah, so another stealth uh, uh, portion is upon me. Do this uh, I shall try and make this look easy. The difference is with this stealth portion, got Black Cat helping out. A lot of guys guarding this place. That's night and night for him. Also, another little cool feature for this stealth portion is uh, if you can see underneath the focus bar where it says combo 2 and it's currently lit up as green, you can actually keep that you can actually keep track on of how many enemies are actually left to take take down. And I've, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this during any other of my sp uh, Spider-Man videos, but uh, always during these uh, stealth missions or stealth sections of missions, try and take out the snipers first, or the or the gunner, the p the goons with the guns on the outer part of the stealth area, if that makes sense. So as I'm doing now, I'm taking out all the snipers, out all people with the rifles on the outer side. Then I'm working my way inside. Looks like about nine guys also, if you haven't got access to it already, but if you have, I do recommend using the trip mine during the stealth missions because it is a beautiful gadget to use during this during these stealth missions. It is a beautiful thing. All yours, Felicia. Trip mine all set up. Huh. First time I've actually distracted guards by closing a door. Still using that technique? Hey, if it works, it works. Don't judge. Thank you. Hmm. Have to work my way down the line. So we go. Take care of this goon. Just always make sure that whatever goons you're aiming for are out of sight of any other ones. So the one who's walking now, unfortunately, he's still in the line of sight of the other goons that are paired together. Gonna have to get him a bit further away. All yours, cat. Thank you very much. And that takes care of all the enemies. All Only one thing left to do now. Cat, 
it's time for you to work your magic. Lots of places to hide a vault around here. You check the shipping containers while I check in that building over there. Felicia. What? I'm sorry Hammerhead did this to you. Yeah, well, he's about to find out. You mess with the cat, you get the claws. Should check out those shipping containers. Yeah, on the off chance the child is not inside the building, definitely would be a good idea to go and look around the shipping containers around the shipyard. Definitely one of the favorite types of levels I like to do that are based in a shipping yard. Another one would be based in a city, and another one would be based up up in the mountains. Uh, just a bunch of boxes. Better keep looking. Okay, so that's one shipping container. Another one, null and void. But no kid. On to the next one. Let's see what. It's in shipping container number three. That's a no go. Any other ones? Oh, here's another one. Let's see what is what lies behind the shipping containment number four. But before I do, I want to check around the other parts. Just to make sure there are no other shipping containers to check. Okay, so there's only one more left. So let's see what lies within. What the hell? Sable International. She, she didn't take a stuff with it. Oh my gosh, she did a fucking terrible job of cleaning up. Oh, crap. And Hammerhead's goons have got their hands on it. Well, shit. Well, time to revert to type and beat them up. No more stealth. It's time for a good old-fashioned beat them. Hammerhead thugs and sable weapons. It's the perfect mashup I never asked for. Come on. That takes care of those goons. Oh crap, really? Felicia, where are you? Another sable APC. Wondered where all those went. Rocket launchers. Uh, why the hell did I do that? I can actually use webs on those large goons. Well, that's not very nice. Here I am trying to beat up your other associates, and here you are trying to shoot me. Well, that's just plain rude. Thank you. Ooh, excuse me, I need to click my neck then. That over arrogant hunk of piece of junk. And stay down. Oh, fucking hell. Two Gatling gun goons. And ro more rocket launches. This is just my luck in a nutshell. Find Felicia. Not a trip, mine. Give me the impact webbing. Oh, come on. Not those. Not that restraining wiring. Oh, shit. Yeah, unfortunately, when. When engaging in combat with the Gatling Gun Goons. Unfortunately, there are only two methods to dealing with them. And those are... One, wait for the ga their Gatling Guns to overheat. And then punch them. Or use the electric webs and let them have it. Okay, the reason why I did that is because I wanted to use the, we the webbing from the web bomb to take care of the guy on the floor so that takes good war one of them now to find wait a second is that yes he's the last one yes that takes care of them on the bright side 
get to save money on having to go to the gym. Just beat up reg just beat up some bad guys for your daily exercise. <laughs> Always works. Now let's see if Black Cat found what she was looking for. Felicia. No, 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 no. She didn't. Oh crapping hell she did. Tell me you weren't just stringing me along. Sorry, sweetie. But I needed help to pull off a job this big. All you ever wanted was Hammerhead's drive. The entire wealth of the Magia. In the palm of my hand. You gave Hammerhead fake drives? You think he's gonna be mad at me? So... The kidnapping? Y y your son? That was all just a lie? Lie is such an ugly word. I prefer misdirection. Do the right thing. Take the drives to the police. Hey, I earned these. Besides, Hammerhead's on a mission and nothing is gonna stop him. If anything, I just help slow him down a bit. They cleaned out the whole yard! Check the fault! Time to go. I'll raise a glass to you on the Riviera. Felicia! We're in. And? Uh, drive's gone. Uh, new plan. There's a tracker on that drive. Find her and kill her. And if she's dumb enough to go to a little penthouse, I've got a crew waiting there to send it sky high. What about the drives? I don't care about the drives. I just want her dead. Got it. We'll find her. Words cannot describe how I'm feeling right now about what Black Cat just pulled. Gotta get to her fast. I can't ever trust her ever again. She might be an occasional ally, but I can't trust anything she says. I don't get you, Spider. But now I'm gonna have to make sure the Hammerhead doesn't uh, um doesn't incinerate her with his uh, bomb tactic. You're lucky Spider-Man's coming to help you out. I can see why now they, they broke it off. Love you, Spider. I'll miss you. Wait, your penthouse, he's rigged it to explode! Don't worry. I've still got all nine lives left. So we can get there in time. Even though I can never trust Cat ever again. Almost there. All right. Just around the corner, and here we are. Let's hope uh, she doesn't walk right into the trap. still haven't found a body? No. Do you think she survived? I don't know. I mean, anything's possible, but... So, how's it feel to not be a dad? <laughs> no. No, I'm serious. Honestly, I, uh... I'm kind of relieved. Yeah, I've got a lot going on, you know. Yeah, <laughs> you do. But... I think you're gonna be an amazing dad someday. At the right time. <laughs> With the right person. So with that explosive ending, ladies and gentlemen, that brings the heist portion of the City That Never Sleeps DLC to a close. And I do hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up icon down below, along with leaving a comment. And if you want to be notified for when new content has been released onto the channel, hit the subscribe button down below, along with the bell, so that you can receive notifications for when new content has been released onto the channel. 
So until Turf Wars, everybody, I've been Shadowstar or Marksman72 for my PlayStation ID. Stay safe out there, take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.